Hello, it's Wednesday, October 26th, and I'm Natalie Woods with your UFX Markets Daily News. The U.S. dollar remained unchanged versus the euro and the pound and became stronger versus higher yielding assets such as the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar. Wall Street sold off after disappointed earnings from big firms and uncertainty regarding the European debt crisis. NASDAQ dropped by 2.26% and the Dow Jones dropped by 1.74%. Crude oil gained by 1% and closed at $92.85 a barrel. Gold rallied by 3%, closing at $1,705 an ounce as risk aversion rose. Today, new home sales are expected higher with 302,000 and core durable goods orders are expected higher with 0.5%. The euro remained unchanged versus the dollar and the yen as investors expect a bigger bailout fund for Europe to be announced at the economic summit. Germany announced that it's against the bond purchases made by the European Central Bank. GFK German consumer climate came out higher than expected at 5.3. The momentum of the euro dollar is still bullish facing resistance at 1.3950. If this resistance will be breached, the pair could rally strongly. According to the daily chart, the support level is located at 1.3670. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 1.3848 and with a high of 1.3959. The euro dollar last traded at 1.3920. The British pound gained slightly versus the dollar in a narrow range trading session after current accounts showed a lower deficit than expected. Current accounts showed a deficit of minus 2 billion versus the expected minus 9.7 billion. The trend for the pair will remain bullish if it maintains its support level of 1.5900. However, if the pair breaks that support, it may reach the 1.5430 level again. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 1.5955 and a high of 1.6038. The pound dollar last traded at 1.6020. The yen reached its strongest level against the dollar since the 30s, but retraced back to the same level, around 76. The uncertainty regarding the European debt crisis and declines in stock markets around the world raised demand for the safe haven yen. Technically, the dollar-yen is trading within a narrow range with no clear long-term trend, but there are signs of it narrowing down. The pair tried breaking below its support level of 76, but failed. Today, the Bank of Japan will release its interest rate decision, which is expected to remain unchanged at 0.10%. The dollar-yen last traded at 76. The Canadian dollar weakened versus the U.S. dollar after the Bank of Canada cut its economic growth forecast. The Bank of Canada left its interest rate unchanged at 1% and denied rumors regarding the withdrawal of its stimulus plan. The U.S. dollar CAD pair has retraced strongly after touching equality. The main trend for the pair will remain bearish unless the pair breaks above its resistance at 1.0250. The U.S. dollar CAD last traded at 1.0160. Thank you for joining us today. For more information, please visit us at www.ufxmarkets.com for all your online trading needs. I'm Natalie Woods, wishing you a happy trading.